Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nils, and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about Bosa Familia. Bosa is just simply an A, and familiar is family. So Bosa Familiar is some sort of family assistance or family aid. In Brazil, we have a couple of different social assistance from the government. And Bolsa Familiar is one of them. I'm going to talk about it in a little bit. Let's talk about Bolsa Familiar. I'm going to tell you every bit of everything you need to know about Bozo Familiar, from what is it, what is it for, how can you apply for it, and so on. This is very, very good, especially for people who are not working. What is Bozo Familiar? Bozo Familiar is just a federal government income transfer program that seeks to support families that are in situations of economic and social vulnerability. Being considered as a social benefit, it joins several other public policies and social assistance initiatives. Bolsa Familiar has a minimum value of 600 reals per month. So this program is a right for families with a family that falls into the category of poverty or extreme poverty. This benefit is temporal and is re-evaluated every two years just to make sure or to ensure that only families that meet this condition will have this benefit. It is paid through the cashier, economical, federal, digital, social savings and it's operated by cashier terms app which is created automatically for this program beneficiary. When was Bolsa Familia created? Bolsa Familia was created at the end of 2003 during the President Lula's first government and was converted into law in 2004. Since its beginning, the program has had some conditions such as maximum income for beneficiary, up-to-date vaccinations and children and adolescents remain in school. In 2021, under the former President Bolsonaro's government, the income transfer program was renamed Auxilio Brazil, where it maintained the same purpose for helping poorest families. In 2023, with the return of Lula's government, the benefits returned to its original name, from 20 years ago, Bolsa Familia. However, in addition to the name change, the program returned with new features for beneficiaries, such as extra amount for family members that meet some requirements. Families must meet their income criteria considered poverty or extreme poverty. The Ministry of Citizenship considers that the maximum monthly income should be 218 reals per person in a family. The other requirements to be able to receive the votes of Familia is that the family must be registered in the Cadastro Unico, which is the gateway to social benefits from the federal government. This Cadastro Unico, it's their general registration that has all their social benefits in which Bolsa Familia is just one of them. Will those who receive their Auxilio Brasilia receive Bolsa Familia? Initially, all the Auxilio Brasilia beneficiaries were included into the new Bolsa Familia payments as the criteria remained the same. However, after numerous cases of fraud related to maximum income and false information registered, the government has begun to actively re-evaluate the game to see those who don't fit into this card. Criteria. The indices pointed out that the single person family that is just one member who claimed to be alone, even living in a house with other program beneficiaries. So it's like separate people just go into register, but all of them are living in the same house, which breaks the rules of the benefits. Doors, thousands of families who don't deserve to receive this both of family are uh, receiving it, and the government is asking for these people to update their data so that this should be cancelled. I want to talk about the changes that have happened in this regime with the Bolsa Familiar, unlike the previous one. The previous one, their minimum amount was 400 reals. Let me talk about the additional new values that have been added in this Bolsa Familiar. The first one is a minimum benefit of 600 reals in total. There's an extra 150 reals 
to that 600 for children that are less than six years old then you have an extra 50 hell if you have children from seven years old and above how is this calculated the minimum salary as of now in brazil is 1200 reals you must be earning less than half of this amount for you to be eligible to apply for this for example for a family of four we have two adults two children how do they calculate the bolsa familia amount first thing you need to check the salary of the adult so the two adults will check for their salary both of you are working that that's going to be zero which is zero divided by four people is zero so it therefore means that you are eligible for both of familiar if one person is working and the person is earning 1200 reals and your four of you they're going to take 1200 divided by four 1200 divided by four is 300 reals it therefore means that 300 is less than 600 reals so you're eligible for this so that's how it works you're going to get 600 reals the two children that are left if one of them is less than six years old they're going to add 150 to that 600 so you're going to receive 750 if both of them are more than six years old then it's going to be 50 times 2 which is 100 so you're going to be receiving 700 if one of them is less than six years and one of them is older than six years so it's going to be 150 plus 50 which is 200 and it's going to be added to the 600 which is going to be 800 health also it depends on the situation if both parents are not working and the situation shows that you have a lot of bills and you have a lot of children then it's going to also multiply depending on the number of children that you have and so on for your children to also be eligible they have to make sure they're going to school they have a greater number of attendants in school for you to register for this is very simple and straightforward all the necessary documents you'll be needing is just your resident card or your rg or your cnh or your rne or your rna the next one is your cpf number you also need your birth certificate scared of your children then you'll be needing your cateo de cabalo which is your work permit card so if you're not working you still have to print it out i've done a video about how you can do a digital work permit card so if you're actually not working the work permit area is going to be empty but if you're actually working it's going to be registered online and if you log into your work perm digital work permit it's going to show all where you're working if you also need that just print it out it is blank to show that you're not working if you're Brazilian, you have a photos card, that's all you'll be needing. How do you apply for this? It's just two steps to apply for this. The first one is for you to create an online application. So how do you do the online application? The first thing you have to do is you need to register under the Cadastro Unico. I'm going to leave the link in the description section where you can register for the Cadastro Unico. You need to register it. So, of course, for you to do that, you, you'll be needing to have your government account, um, your CPF and your password to, get, to access the government account. When you access the government account, then you're going to register under the Cadastro Unico as a first step. This happens like in major cities like Sao Paulo and Rio, but in other cities like in Florianopolis, you can do it online. The location doesn't permit you to do the first step online so you need to register after you register in the cadastro unico you're going to see all the different social benefits that you can have and you click on bolsa familia so bolsa familia is the one that i'm talking about you click on it fill the registration form when you fill the registration form you print it out and you get it and go to what we call the social assistance center it is called CRAS which in Portuguese is Centro de Referencia de Assistencia Social you go to this office the nearest one you can search on Google and then you, you give all these documents that I've listed so in places where you don't have the online registration like in Florianopolis you don't need to do the pre-registration just go straight to any of these centers the social assistance centers 
closer to you or in your city they're going to do all of the online registration for you maybe they're going to ask you a few things about education education with children why do you need the assistance and so on just a brief history and uh, make sure your address is also in place you also want to take a document that proves your address as well and like i said this is being re-evaluated every two years so every two years you need to come back to go to the center for re-evaluation to just to prove to them that you still need this assistance and you're still living in that area if you change your address you also have to let them know that your address has changed so that they can change it in the system and that's how it works if you're going to the center as a family all of you don't need to go there what only one person can go to the center to represent everybody that person who is going to the center need to make sure you have the documents of everybody 600 real in Brazil is really cool because with the family you can go a long way there is no set time for when this is going to be released all this are registered into the system and most of the times the system will just get this different families automatically just like a lottery for sure maybe it takes like a couple of months and you'll be given the bolsa familia card which you're going to receive like money every month following the calendar and so on so then i'm going to leave the link of every step that you need to follow in the description section that's it about bolsa familia many families in brazil are actually under this assistant program if you have any more questions you can leave it in their comment section and uh, if you find the video interesting like share comment and you haven't subscribed what are you doing please subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that you get updated each time i upload a new video in that same line ciao